Hi, competitors and coaches. My name's Paul Zadra. I'm here to introduce ISCA's new and exciting event, Light Kick. Now, Light Kick is in preparation for the 2017 World Cup in Sydney, the 2017 tournament in Remini in Italy, the World Amateur Championships, and of course, the US Open in 2018 when we were running a major tour. Light Kick is a two minute continuous form of sparring with the only timeouts by the referee himself. Now the target areas are gonna be the head, the body, and the legs. Light contact, as the word suggests, means that you can only make contact with your opponent with 30% of your maximum force. So you can't knock your opponent out, you can't injure your opponent, and you can't draw blood intentionally. In Light Kick, points will be allocated in this way. Any punch to the body, any punch to the head, any kick to the legs, or lead leg sweep will get one point. Any kick to the head will be two points. Any jump kick to the body will be two points. Any jump kick to the head will be three points. In light kick, the referees and the judges will use tally counters. And with these, they can calculate the points. But this is only for their reference. At the end of the match, they'll nominate either a blue or a red wins the match. In the event that there are only two judges and a center ref, in the case that they are drawn, the center ref will nominate the winner. If there are three judges, of course, a majority rules. Okay, in terms of protective gear for this event, we want to make use of as much gear as you use currently, but there are some changes because this is a more contact event. So in terms of uh, gloves, you need a boxing style glove. It needs to be 10 ounce minimum, and there are some different variations. And many of the sports suppliers supply quite a cheap boxing glove, but it does need to be a boxing glove for this event. For your legs, for your feet, you can use a shin and instep combination as long as the heel has a cover. And many of the suppliers, Sportsmaster, Morgan, Century, um, Shogun, all of these suppliers supply a variation specifically for the ISKA. If you have the old style booties, that's fine, but you do need a shin protector to go with them. Of course, you need good quality headgear, something that perhaps protects your cheekbones, and a groin guard and a mouth guard. Uh, if you are 17 years and under, you will need a uh, headgear with a face protector, and the ISKA will supply them for the upcoming CCP tournament. So if you don't have one, don't panic. We will have some spares there for you to use. Also, all kids 17 years and under, must have a chest protector as well. And the other equipment is standard for juniors and seniors. So you'll still need the boxing gloves if you're children, and you'll still need the mouth guard and groin guard, and you still need the foot protection, whether they're booties or the shin and instep combinations. Hi, right. what we're gonna do now is demonstrate some uh, light kick sparring and what it will look like in the event. Remember that the tally counters are calculating points based on uh, whether you're contacting the head, the body, whether you sweep. Remember, a jump kick to the body is two points, a jump kick to the head is three points, uh, and any kick to the head is also worth two points. Ready, German? Touch gloves. Step back. Fight. Now remember, all contact is restricted to 30%, so you can't knock your opponent out. Judge's decision. In the case of uh, a tie, where one is red and one is blue, the center referee will make the decision. Winner, if it's a majority decision, for example, both red, Winner. If there are three judges, the center referee doesn't get involved in the process. It's simply a majority works. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.